Hi, my name is Phil. You're watching Mazatrol Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you the different screens that we're going to need to use for programming and running this machine. So the first screen that comes up when the is turned on is the position screen. It shows right down here in the bottom left. These are all the soft keys that we use to control the machine. This is the directory over here. And over here is the menu. So in the directory, these are the major screens that we're going to see. And you push this and it goes into multiple screens. Whereas this one is the menu and this shows you different features of the screen you're on. So, to start out with, push the directory, and the position is already here. It, the menu comes up. The main thing that this screen is showing is the coolant. When we're in hand control, the coolant is will come on right away. When we're in auto mode, different things come up and the coolant is in auto only. So again, for each screen, if you're in manual control or if we're in auto, it'll have different operations. So in the auto position, the program in the machine is called a work number. So in order to call it up, we would push this button and type it in. Uh, single step is the same thing as single block on a Fanuc. Optional stop is the same. Dry run, machine lock, that'll stop the machine from moving while the program is running. Coolant, turn on the coolant during operation. And the work light, so we can see what's happening. And then we also have a barrier cancel button. So the next screen we're going to go to is the command screen. So this screen here has more detailed information than the position screen. The position is up here. It also shows the position of the machine. It'll show here when the program is running. The buffer is what the next move coming up is and the remain is the distance to go. And then down here is the spindle and axis load meters when the machine's running, so you can tell if you're taking too heavy of a cut or if you can go faster. Onto the next screen, this one is the trace screen. This one shows the overview of the part and the machine. And it has a scale factor over here just like a map. If we push scale and type in a large number like 20, then we can see the turret and the tailstock. But for most things, we're going to be zoomed up. But I don't have a program called up right now, so nothing is displayed. So next button is getting into the programming. So here's the individual program. And from this screen, we push program file. And this is all the programs that are in the machine's memory. This particular machine will only hold 16 programs or 500 blocks of information. Right now, we have 99 blocks used. You will usually run out of the number of programs before you run out of memory for most smaller programs. This button here, this is the tool set button screen. So this is where the tool offsets are kept. So these are the geometry offsets for individual tools. And then these are the individual wear offsets for the machine. This machine is different than a Fanuc where you call up tool 10 and then wear offset number one or you call up tool one, wear offset number one. 
you have a secondary offset of number two, but there's very few instances that you would actually need to have a second offset for the same tool. And then right here, tool set measure, this is how we probe the tools. Onto the next screen, this is the tool data. This is where the tool geometry is stored in the individual tools. You have to describe the tool so the machine actually knows how to cut the part. So this is a big part of Mazatrol is it has its own tool file, tool data and tool file. So this screen here goes in conjunction with the tool data. So when you're describing a CNMG, this is where we're going to put it in the controller. Uh, the next page, this is the cutting conditions. So for each individual process, we have different cutting conditions. And then if we hit the page button, we also have different materials that come up. And these are all user set values. So if you want to run uh, alloy steel, we have it sitting at 100%. So these values for RV is roughing velocity and FV is finish velocity. So when we're doing a bar out and I'm running alloy steel, it's going to put in 500 feet per minute for roughing, 700 feet per minute for finishing, 10,000 speed rate, and 100 thou depth of cut for that individual operation. But if you wanted to edit those, you can change them as you want. Uh, the next button is the parameters. This particular control has only three pages of parameters. And what's shown here with the letter U, these are the user parameters that you can tailor the machine's operation to how you want it to run. So in these parameters here, this controls the tool change position, the approach from the face when it's wrapping into the part before it starts cutting, how far are the boring bars back off, and so on. So these are individual values you look in the manual and adjust it from there. The values that are here can be tailored differently than what the standard machine comes with. Uh, the last one here is the diagnostic screen, and this screen is used for maintenance personnel when they're troubleshooting the machine. For programming and normal operation, we won't even be using this screen. Uh, left button again, measure. This screen here shows if the machine was equipped with a probe, it will show you how to probe the part. So this screen, I don't have a probe for the machine, so we're not going to use that screen. The last screen is tool offsets. This one is separate from the wear offsets that I showed you earlier. This one's mainly concerned with G-code operation. We're not going to show you G-code on this machine, so we're not going to use this screen. So back to the position screen. So those are the, the main screens that we're going to use with the machine. Once you get into the screen, then the soft keys, you'll have different options on how to program it, how to send and receive programs, program uh, erase. Uh, and if you'll notice, this all erase button keeps coming up. Uh, this one, if you want to erase everything in this in the page, we would push it, and then it says all erase minus 9999. So in order to do an all erase on this machine, it's a very deliberate sequence. So you have to type in minus 9999 and then hit input before it'll actually erase anything. So that one 
I don't use it very often other than when uh, I'm initializing the machine and putting in the parameters and I have to clear all the memory. From most operation, we're not gonna do an all erase. So if we want to erase program 20, we would say program erase, type in 20 input, and it erases that individual program. So again, the menu button gives you different selections for the same screen, and if you want to jump out to a, the position screen, you push this button and you're back to that screen. So program file, we were here. Now it shows we've only used 92 blocks. It erased those seven blocks out of its memory. So that's a general overview of the screens. In later videos, I'm going to show you individual screens in more detail. But I wanted to show you a, an overview on how to navigate the machine. Thank you for watching.